Welcome everybody, this is Trainer Joe with Facebook Live. Today we're going to talk about the problem with a balanced life. Yeah, the problem with a balanced life. But Joe, shouldn't I want a life of balance? Isn't that the ultimate? Well, here's the deal. Yeah, I was a, a lady and her daughter came to see me one time and the lady was considering doing my program and she said, you know, I, I was the prom queen and all this. I've gained 100 pounds. I need to lose some weight. I don't know if I want to do this. And we talked for a while. And then she looked at her daughter who was athletic, some teen year old. And she said, honey, what do you think? You think I ought to do this? And her daughter said, mom, you do so many things for everybody else. You probably ought to do something for yourself. She was trying to find this balance in her life. And, and she ended up 100 pounds overweight. What kind of life have you been living? If you're seeking balance and you're 50, 80 pounds overweight, 20 pounds overweight, have you been living balanced? You haven't been living the balance that you want up to now. Somehow you've justified a life that left you so many pounds overweight. 50, 80, 30. So how's it going to feel if you really are living balanced? It's not going to seem balanced when you actually are living correctly. It's going to feel weird because you got used to weird. You got used to this wrong way of doing it that left you where you didn't want to be. So when we actually start doing it right, you think it's going to feel right? It's not going to feel right to you. But Joe, people will tell me this, Joe, I always have a snack before bed or I can never give up wine or bread or cheese or whatever it is. Actually, you could. What is it you think you really have to have? You know, if you have to have it, you've moved it from a plate to a pedestal. If something has you that much, we have a problem, which is showing, well, no wonder you're struggling. Begin to hold a little more lightly and decide you're going to do what you need to do. And then it's not that difficult. Balance is so foreign to you that you're probably going to need help doing it right. You've been over here and you've gotten comfortable with this, forgive me, but crazy way of doing it, right? Eating way too much and it just is the way you do it. So we bring you over here to doing it right. You're probably going to need help doing that. And I'm sorry to say that. And people don't want help. They want to just be able to do it. It's kind of like the alcoholic that just wants to start living a balanced life. No, that ain't going to work. You quit. You just have to quit. Well, I just want balance. No, you've been doing it so bad that we're not going to just be able to suddenly do it good. You're going to have to go through an inward work, a transformation, and then it starts to make sense. I got a call the other day from a lady. I was working out. And I answered the phone. Hello, my doctor said I should call you. I need to lose about 20 pounds, she said. And I said, 20 pounds, huh? I said, a lot of people lose tw need to lose 20 pounds aren't going to call me. They're just going to settle in and be fine because most of their friends need to lose 50. They actually are feeling good about it. She said, well, I don't need this 20 pounds. I want to lose 20 pounds. I said, well, good. Because in reality, you need to fix something. It ain't good to have extra 20 pounds, is it? Not only are you going to have to address it, but you probably need to realize something needs to be fixed. You were never made to carry around the extra 20. Now I realize you can get to the point of being too into your weight. But if you're heavier than you should be and you want to be, let's just call it what it is. That's what it is. When I was in the insurance business, I remember I went to Oklahoma City to get trained and I really, really liked the trainer. He was just a neat guy. I admired him and, and, and I was really wanting him to teach me because I, I just wanted the answers. What do I need to do to be really good at this? Can you make it clear to me? I just want to be really good. Tell me what to do. And one day in our training session, he just laid it out. He said, I'm going to tell you all exactly what you need to do to be really good at this and for the company to be really happy with you. There's three things we need you to do so that you are very successful and we're really happy with what you're doing. Basically, it was their balance. It was the way they wanted you to work, the perfect balance. And here's what they said. I'll never forget. He said, the number one thing we need from you is sales. We got to have sales. Without sales, we got nothing. Number one is sales. He said, and the number two thing is sales. And the number three thing is sales. 
And that helped me tremendously because I realized they want me to sell. If I don't sell, there ain't nothing else to talk about. Well, it's kind of like that here. You can talk about how healthy and balanced you want to be all day long. But if you end up 50 or 100 pounds overweight, we didn't accomplish a whole lot. Lose the stinking weight. I was watching this interview with Mark Wahlberg, and they said, uh, you know, what's, what's your motivation for working out? You're obviously into that. You got these roles where you need to be fit and all that. And he said something that also can apply to this. He said, I stay in shape. So I don't have to get in shape. Okay? You got out of shape. Doing it wrong. Now guess what? You ain't in shape. Now you're going to have to go through this process. I don't mean for it to sound negative. It's just the way it is. You don't just suddenly start doing it right. You Now you got to get in shape. You've been living this life outside of the appropriate balance, the way of doing it, to be the way you're supposed to be. And you just now want to start living balanced. Now... It's not going to work that way. But, Joe, isn't it unhealthy and extreme to just change like you're saying to change? Well, if you apply for life insurance and you're 100 pounds overweight, they don't care how balanced your life was. You're 100 pounds overweight, they don't want you. You're too high risk. They don't think they're going to make any money on you. It's the number one reason people are declined for life insurance is because they're too heavy. So what you've done is you went way over here on the pendulum and you went way over here in this negative area living and eating too much, living wrong. And then you're saying, I don't want extreme, Joe. I just want to start living normal. Well, wouldn't that be nice? You're the one that went off the rails, though. You went swung way over here. So guess what's going to happen? You don't just get to start saying, oh, I'm just going to go here. No, it's going to have to swing way over here and do it this way for a while until you've basically gotten back in shape. Don't get out of shape. Then you don't have to get in shape. Look at it this way. When we start thinking, well, it should be more balanced than that. Even in Matthew, it says, but more than anything else, it doesn't say just we want balance. It says more than anything else, put God's work first and do what he wants. Then all other things will be yours as well. Balance comes as a result of doing what you're really supposed to do Lose the weight. Does anyone complain that you're too extreme? If they don't, then you're not extreme enough. If you never have anybody saying, oh, you're losing weight too fast. Oh, you should be able to eat some bread. Oh, I can't believe you can't have a glass of wine. Oh, this, you're not getting enough calories. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You better have somebody that thinks you're too into this or you're not into it enough, you're not going to get it done. And the people that are complaining to you about you being too extreme are bigger than you, or it comes natural to them. They're already in shape. They don't understand why you have to go through this process that looks extreme. So don't listen to them. Are you going to an AA meeting? Why are you going to an AA meeting when we're so busy and we have all this going on? That's extreme. You're going to an AA meeting. You better go to an AA meeting if you've been living like an alcoholic. And the same here. You're going to need to do some things that seem extreme to get it right. But they're not. It, it sounds worse than it is. I'm just saying you're going to have to make it a priority, really. That's what Ann did. Ann went from... Correct me on here, Ann, if you're here, if you're wrong. 219 pounds to 147. She averaged about 10 pounds a month, dropping off. Guess what? Wasn't no balance. She was out to win it, to lose the weight. She gave things up. She was focused. She did what I told her to do without a bunch of excuses. And then you get it done. This is balance. You lose the weight and you enjoy all the benefits. To change one's life, start immediately and do it flamboyantly. That's the father of American psychology agreeing with everything I just told you. Guys, if you need help, a couple of things. We have a free program tonight. Free? Tonight at 8 o'clock, we're going to talk about losing 30 pounds in 80 days. Do you know there's 79 days to Christmas? So that's getting it done this year. 30 pounds lighter than you are. We're going to talk about that. 
And we also have, and if you would share this, by the way, tell your friends about it. Make them feel guilty for going off the rails too. Share this, like this. Let's get a bunch of us tonight looking at how am I going to lose 30 pounds by Christmas, next 80 days. We also start our next virtual 21-day transformation tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. You can join us for that too. Hey, most people struggle with this. I walk you through a process in 21 days. It's going to change the way you think about food and weight loss so you can lose the weight and keep it off. I'm Trainer Joe, helping you train your brain and transform your body.